Hey back YouTubers, today we are going to be making a snail drum out of cardboard. This is an updated video, I did more research, it's going to mo look more like a snail drum, and also it's going to sound a bit more like a snail drum. Probably not exactly because it still is cardboard. But let's hop right into it. Hey my kids boys, I'm back and this is the thing we're going to use to wrap around the circle we're going to make. The circle is 14 inches in diameter and this is 6 inches tall and it's 48.5 inches around. The actual will be around 44 but since it isn't really thin and not 2D, it is 48.5. So if that's a wacky tables, let's go make that 14 inch circle. Hey Lucky Tubers, I'm back, and here is the circle, 14 inches, pretty big. We're not going to be using this to hit on, this is going to be the bottom part, so it should look like this. It's pretty tight fit, so I'm kind of happy. And, yeah, we're going to make another one of these circles. I won't show that because it's basically like the same thing, but... I'm basically going to just trace this circle and then we're going to do the next step putting in this snail pole or the thing that sounds like a snail pole I should say I'll see you then Rocky Tables Hey Rocky Tables, I'm back and I cut out this circle I traced it for this one and I glued this one and I taped this one the tape prevents any of this from pulling out the bottom. Also, you may make sure you use the one without the hole because some waste could get stuck in there. And if you dig deep enough, there will be a hole on the other side and it will fall out of there. Will, will it do that for me because I didn't do it deep enough, but some waste will just get stuck in. So, from what I've heard and seen, I've saw that rice was a good s snail mimical or anything that's small and roundish. So if I pour the rice in, this is less than a fourth of a cup. If I pour the rice into here, when I hit the head of the drum, which I'm going to be using tape for, it, and I put this over the rice, I will, it, when I hit it, the rice will bounce up, it will hit this one, then it will drop back down and the one already in here. So that makes sort of a snail sound, and that's what I'm looking for. So, basically, what I do now is pull in the rice. I'm new to this too, so... If you put, I'm going to glue this right now to it because I probably, I'm not going to try getting this rice out. And this is a tight fit. It's going to be hard to take out. Uh, yep, yeah, here this is. I turned it on just now and I'm going to glue it just a bit above it. Almost on top, almost not. Oh, the hot glue gun's not even torn on. Wait. Okay. It's good. Make sure you get the area where it overlaps, like, 
where the two cardboard ends here meet because that's an important area in it where they hold it together a bit better so now we drop it in Perfecto, and now we glue the edges a bit more. So I'm going to finish gluing this up and make this a bit more even. That actually will fill the top. Okay, so I'm going to finish gluing around the edges and I'm going to do a time lapse of me putting on what is it? Two layers of this tape. We make like pluses, stars, and then we keep on doing that. So I'm going to do that and then we'll be back and we'll work on the design around it and the spray painting.